know, in terms of the success, I think anytime you have a coaching transition, um, sometimes it might take a few seasons. And I really felt that our players, by and large, gave a great effort day in and day out um, to try to get Harvard back where it once was. And I, I know moving forward that that's going to continue to be the goal. Um, you know, compete every day and try to get yourself involved in an Ivy League tournament and championship and then move on from there. But you know, I think the big thing is we want to make sure that our kids continue to have a good experience competing every day and, and a great experience at Harvard. I think we all, uh, you know, in the Northeast want to go down early and play some competitive teams that um, have had successes. And we had some momentum coming back. Um, those early trips that we take are so valuable. Uh, you can't put a price tag on them. Um, for us to have uh, the situation like we do in, in the Harvard Stadium bubble is awesome. But to be able to get out early and, and, and play uh, prior to our longer spring trip is just a great opportunity for us, uh, for the program, and, and quite frankly for, for everybody involved. It's a great venue, I mean, and obviously it's a, it's a privilege to be able to play there um, every other year. Um, you know, it's one of these show and go type of things, you know, you don't take, we don't take uh, batting practice or infield outfield, but still for, for our program and for the other three programs involved to play in Fenway Park is, is just a great thing, not only for the kids, uh, for the players, but their parents. And I'm surprised and amazed, quite frankly, at how many people show up to the game. Uh, it's a thrill. I mean, and this year we had a great game against Northeastern. Um, unfortunately, we're on the, uh, the short end of, end of a 7-6 uh, loss, but, you know, it was exciting. Uh, I think we rolled out a number of pitchers, and both McGuigan and, and Connor Quinn uh, hit home runs at Fenway Park, which is, you know, something they'll remember for the rest of their lifetime. But I think it's a great thing for us to continue to do in the future and, and maybe even you know, the Red Sox organization will let us play there every year. We just want to move forward. Uh, we want to continue to take a positive step in the right direction, uh, try to continue to teach as best we can and, and develop uh, the young people in our program as best we can, make sure they have a positive experience along the way. But you know, I think we've got some kids coming back that are going to develop over the next three months. Uh, you know, before we get them back in September. The expectation is that the group that just graduated has raised the bar a little bit. Um, but, you know, we need, to, we need to make a move and we need to be a little bit more competitive in those one-run ball games. I think we were involved in 13 of them this year and we gotta find a way to get over the hump and that just comes with perseverance, uh, kids stepping up when it's their turn and, and us doing a great job together to see if we can't get into an Ivy League championship situation and beyond.